I don't know. I love them. Every time that I have to put them in the laundry and I don't have it for that like one night, it's like breaks my heart. But I have a similar one from Nordstrom that I absolutely love. I mean, PJ life is the best life. I had the best night's sleep, best night's sleep. I slept like around 10.30, which hasn't happened in like four or five months. Like I haven't slept that early. Um, but yeah i slept super early woke up refreshed i forgot how to, how does that feel it just feels good did my self tan yesterday and i didn't wash it on time and i didn't do a very good job of it let's just ignore my hands i didn't face a fake tan my face this time because my skin is doing so good i was just scared honestly i've never had an experience when the self tan that i use for my face breaks me out uh, but my skin is so good that I don't want to risk it or jinx it. Let's just knock on wood. Okay, what is the plan for today? My best friend got engaged last weekend. <clears throat> and tomorrow we are going to celebrate her engagement. Um, I got her a little gift of like few different things and not one big thing. Which I'll make that box with you guys. <clears throat> I can't talk. Probably in the afternoon I'm going to make the box with you guys or tomorrow morning. We'll see because I still need to buy one more item. Um, to complete the box. Let's just go figure the situation out to look a little bit more presentable I'll speak to you guys when I'm All dressed up and ready basically. So a complete change of plans uh, Sorry, let me put you guys there. My best friend Ojan messaged me. Uh, we're gonna go to lunch with her uh, But for now, uh, I'm gonna go get that one item that I wanted for my best friend uh, for Ani's engagement gift I want to get a bride's magazine to put in the box that I'm pre prepping for her. Um, so I'm going to go to Ralph's and get a bride magazine. Such a beautiful day. It's still cold. I'm still wearing the thickest sweater because I'm 24-7 cold. But it's such a beautiful um, weather. Um, it's 68, but it's sunny. Well, let's go together, buy this stuff. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm I just got um, home from shopping, uh, but my friend is coming over, so I have to rush and go for lunch. Um, when I come back, I'll show you guys the box and we'll make it together. But before going, I just want to show you guys my outfit. Um, this shirt is from Zara. Um, the jeans are not mine, they're my sister's. Sadie, where are they from? I'll link a similar one because um, the shop that my sister bought it from, they're not in business. Um, the shoes are River Island, but from many years ago. Um, Chanel bag, Gucci belt, and I don't have any earrings. Should I add earrings? I feel like it's going to be too much. So we're going to go with no earrings. Um, and I have my Swarovski ring and the Cartier ring. And that's my outfit. Now we're going to go head out for lunch and I'll take you guys along. I added these gold earrings because just without earring I feel naked so I just added these little earrings. These are from Aces, I'll link it for you guys. Got back from lunch with my friend and obviously I had to change into sweats. That shirt was very cute and all of that, but it was very uncomfortable, to be honest with you guys. Now I'm going to put together Ani's um, gift. I haven't even opened up the boxes yet. They're all here. I ordered most of the items from Amazon. I hope they're going to all work out because 
I don't have time to go shopping today. Let's just go make the box together. So these are the little things I got for her. This is the box that I'm gonna put everything in. And instead of cushioning it with paper, I got these white roses and I'm gonna make a cushion out of them inside the box. I got her this ring um, holder, uh, a bride magazine so she can just like look through it. I got his and hers like um, luggage tags. Um, this magazine, this is a magazine that came with this one. Um, it's basically like honeymoon spots. Um, this is a wine and beer glasses. It says like Mr. Ride and Mrs. Always Ride. This is a little bit cheesy, so I'm not sure if I will include it or not. But I just thought it's cute. And then um, just a few sheet masks and an eye patch. Just like a self-care thing. And that's about it. I'm going to put all of this together. Have this feeling, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm so. So I put together everything. I put the roses underneath as a cushion. The magazine was too big, it wasn't fitting. So like I literally like folded it and I tied it. Um, I put the ring holder here and I put the masks underneath. Um, I have the luggage tags and the glasses that I got. This box is like, it has a, this one of those magnetic things to close. So I'm just gonna push it a little bit to close and now just put a bow all over it. That's it, now it's ready. I have to work a little bit. I have the blog post to write and I have to edit video. Um, so I'm just gonna work a little bit. I don't have anything special planned, honestly, for the remaining of the day. I just have a lot of work to do. I have to catch up on. Uh, I'm gonna do those. I will speak to you guys in a bit. I recently wrote a blog post, um, which is a very interesting topic. It's not fashion and it's not beauty. It's not home. It's not lifestyle. Um, it's something that I've never like wrote before. So a few days ago, I came across an article. Uh, basically, the title was something like this. Three people who you can invite to dinner, dead or alive, who would you invite? If you think about it, it's such a difficult thing to like answer. And I've been asking this question from everyone around me and everyone's answers are so interesting. Like people that I don't even like come to mind. Like it's just such an interesting topic. I wrote who are my top three people, which I'll link it for you guys in the description box below. But I would love to know who are the three people you would have dinner with, like dead or alive if you had the option. Such an interesting thing. So yeah, I'll link it for you guys. And now I'm just gonna continue with work. My emails are crazy. It's already dark outside, it's like 4 p.m. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just start finishing up the work. Like I try to work only until 5 p.m. But since today I went for lunch with my friend, so I didn't work today. Let's just continue working. And I will speak to you guys in a bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna wash my face and we're gonna watch a movie and nothing exciting is happening for you guys to see um, but I'll speak to you guys tomorrow morning
morning oh my god what a busy morning it was the weather is as gray as it can be like literally there is not a sign of sun in the sky so yeah, i woke up this morning i had to get ready really quick i tried to sleep sleeping but our neighbors were doing construction i woke up super early but i'm still late because i was annoyed i was not in the mood to get ready are you guys like that like i like to wake up on my own terms like i don't want someone pushing me to wake up anyway um so today we're going to celebrate my best friend's engagement and we're gonna go to a restaurant called isabel um in west hollywood i think i honestly don't know where it is but uh we're gonna go to isabel now i have my gift um that i show you guys that i made yesterday for her i have that and yeah i'm wearing this cute necklace from zara my top is from zara i'll take a pic oh TD picture and i'll insert it for you guys uh, but this jacket is pissing me off because it keeps wanting to stay like this but i like it to stay like this so i don't know how what to do with it it has a button to close but i think it's for this to close i don't know so yeah it just doesn't stay like this but yeah i'm already running late because it took forever for me to get ready <laughs> Um, so we're gonna head out there. I'm meeting the girls there um, Let's go because I'm running very late. We were supposed to be there at 12 and at 1140. Let's just go and meet the girls What a long day. It is, I think, like 8 p.m. now, literally. Oh my god, my makeup all rubbed off. Great. I came back home a few hours ago, then we had guests over, and now just everyone left, and I'm so tired. I'm like exhausted today. I'm just gonna wash my face and put on a face mask because I feel like I've been wearing makeup like back to back, and my face needs a cleanse. So I'm gonna put the Glam Glow face mask on get into some comfy clothes and that's about it basically skin looks a little bit red because after the mask it just it's just a mask basically working but i just did my entire skincare my skin feels so good and clean and i applied a lot of rosehip oil i have scarring and rosehip oils helps that with the scarring a lot i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys on my next vlog bye